All right, guys, welcome back. And in this little mini series that I'm going to start making right now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a REST API. So if you guys don't know what a REST API is, let me explain it real quick. Again, I'm sure the majority of you do, but I'm going to explain it in real simple terms. So let's pretend that you had this startup idea, kind of like, I don't know, Twitter or something. So you made this website and you set up all your code and you connected to the database and everything was working fine. But then you got more users and they were like, hey, it would be cool to have an iPhone app. So you started making this app and you're like, all right, now I need to figure out how iPhones can connect my database online. That's going to be a pain in the butt, but whatever. Next thing you make is an Android app. So you have to figure out how to connect your website's data from there. And then let's say you want to make some weird software application for the desktop. Learning all that stuff is going to be a pain in the butt and confusing and incredibly complicated or what you can do is you can actually avoid all that by creating a rest api so nowadays whenever you are starting a website or some startup this is actually one of the first things that people make so what it is is a way that you can have any device in the world access your website's data through this common kind of uh, format and the one that we're going to be creating is json so json it's just a data format it's not specific to any device or whatever and once we have this way to communicate between any device in your website then you can go ahead and make Android apps iPhone apps uh, software you can actually use your API for your website that's what a lot of people do and it's gonna allow you to grow super fast and again like I said 99% of the startups uh, nowadays this is actually one of the first things they create so let's go ahead and get started so what I did already is I actually just cleared everything out i want to start from scratch since we can't really you know build on what we already learned it's kind of like starting from new so you actually need to install the rest framework first so all you have to do i already have it installed but just write pip install django rest framework and just go ahead and run that or if you're using pycharm then you can actually do it from the settings like you install your other packages but once you have that installed then go ahead and start your project or you can install it after it really doesn't matter so after this I'm just gonna go ahead and create one app and for this sample application what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna store stock information so that way if you want to connect to it and see okay what was the price of Yahoo today what was the price of Facebook you can do that and then later on if you want to make like an iPhone app or an Android app you can do it really simply so this was just the first idea that popped in my head but you can do it if you're making a website like Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or just stock data whatever you can dream of this is gonna work so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, start a simple app so Python manage.py start app companies. Maybe I shouldn't name it stocks, but I don't know. It's going to have a bunch of company information, so there you go. All right. So before we get started with the fun stuff, we just need to take care of some kind of housekeeping, and that is pop open your settings, and we need to configure everything. So down in your installed apps, Again, make sure that you have the REST framework installed. So REST framework. And also, we need to let Django know that, hey, we created this app right here, companies. So you just go companies, app, companies, config. All right, so now Django knows that we are using the REST framework and we have an app called companies. Looking good, mate. So now what we can do is we can actually hop over to companies models and just start making your class of, you know, users or blog posts, or in this case, I'm just going to have stock data. So I'm just going to say class stock models model. 